Salut tout le monde, hi everyone. I wanted to actually give you a little tour of the studio. This is the motion capture studio. We've got this great board and all the cards, all the sketches has been sent by you. So please keep on sending some love. We have all the space to send your sketches, your letters or everything you want to send us. Oh wow, you've got, you've got that on your phone. So this is you. That's me. Whoa. Oh, wow. nice! Oh. <laughs> this oh, man. Uh, is, is it... the Kara statue that comes in the Detroit Collector's Edition, which is available now for pre-order. Thank you uh, to the team that let me bring this home. I'm not bringing it back, it's staying. So this is an extension for your Twitch stream. And mm -hmm. what it means is while you're playing the game, fans yeah. can engage and vote on what you do in the game. 32% to 28 blondes. So people like the, the lighter colors. There we go. Your wish is my command, Detroit community. <laughs> Kara definitely was interesting to me because um, she was very soft and for a machine, she felt very human from the very, very beginning of the game. You can detach this as well, Crow, and then put it back on. And there's like this wire going inside of the dress. So inside of the dress is a lot of cable going on and it's especially wow. nice yeah. if you're sweating underneath it. One last surprise, I think. Connor Nendoroid. So the Nendoroid. There it is. Oh, wow. Look at how cute he is. He comes with a little gun. He comes with a little coin. He comes with a fish that you don't have to save. If you have <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for participating. Thanks, for being everyone. Thank you, everyone. Like, Thank, Thank you for the suggestions about games. Guys. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, cutie gang? We're live. And alive, welcome to Quantic Stream. Buonasera, buenas tardes, Strasvuci, Okozaimas, Bonsoir, Paris, I'm Giran, and I will be your host. Today, we are back on Twitch on the official Quantic Dream channel. So feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and also, of course, through all the social media channels of Quantic Dream, just feel free to ask any questions because Blue, our community manager, will make sure we'll answer them. In September, Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy turned 15 years old. The game was a huge milestone for Quantic Dream. So we thought we should take a look back at the studio and how it evolved through all these years. Joining us in a few minutes, a real dream team of Quantic veteran that are actually gonna share some great memories they have during those times. But also joining us a bit later, Blue of a great community manager who's gonna actually ask some question to our guests from you, you, the viewers, yes. Then if you want to know what we feel like lately here at Quantic Dream, we'll talk about that too. And finally, we'll have a Let's Play session on Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy with yours truly. And I'm petrified because I'm not good at it. But now, now, let's dive into the news. We've had many questions about the Detroit Become Human Collector's Edition. And it's here, finally, for real. Check it out. Oh, and by the way, by the way, just between us, just for you, yes, just for you watching, a special promo code to get 10% off the eShop. Just type Indigo, I-N-D-I-G-O, when you place an order on the eShop. And it's available until November 1st, 11.59 CEST, Central European Summertime. You may also want to check our Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy 15th Anniversary Collector's Edition. It's on our eShop as well. October also means what? Halloween. We have a pumpkin contest going on right now on social media. Just please don't be shy. 
feel free to join in. Speaking of Halloween, there's also a big sale happening on Steam from October 29th to November 2nd. Yes, this Thursday. Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls are 50% off. 30% off for Detroit Become Human. And you can add an extra 20% off if you go for the bundle. All three games available on PC. As always, you can add this to your Steam wishlist to be notified as soon as the sale starts. Did you just do so? Am I talking too much on my own? The answer is yes, obviously. Let's join our guest. And here I am, not on camera. That's great. Here I am with my mask on and my dream team. I hope you're still cool, cutie gang. So, as you can see, please, uh, can you, my dear guest, can you actually raise your hand uh, when you hear your name? Of course. Today, tonight, like to talk about everything Quantic, tonight we have like the best team ever. So, Ingrid is with us. That's, That's her. me. That's her. <laughs> Gregory. That's and, me. and our grandpa, or, or, or let's say, <laughs> let's say, the legend, the guy with the most beautiful sneakers, tonight, <laughs> Mr. Christophe Russo. Hi. How are, you, how are you guys doing? Oh, fine. Are you all right? Are you all right? Yes, so, fine. so glad to be here. So I'm really yeah. glad to, I'm really glad to be here. I'm really glad that we are all here today. But unfortunately, as you can see, for sanitary reasons and obvious reasons, we are actually, uh, we actually wearing masks. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to have a sneak peek at how do those beautiful people look like without mask, well, check it out. Salut, je suis. Non, c'est pas bon. <rire> <rire> Salut tout le monde, je suis Ingrid, euh, lead motion kit animation chez Quanta. Bonjour, je m'appelle Christophe Brousseau et je suis directeur artistique. Bonjour, je suis Grégory Diaconu et je suis game director à Quantibri. Wow, I want wow. the only thing I have to say is wow. Yeah, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> bravo, 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 bravo. So, uh, as you actually, uh, it, for those who actually didn't really pay attention, so, um, Christophe, you are the Quantic Dreams art director. Can you describe your job in, in a nutshell? You have, you uh, have like what? In a nutshell, seconds? yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a long story, but uh, it's providing some uh, art direction to the team and follow them and, uh, and, and be able to, to bring back uh, a vision, uh, specifically because everything starts with uh, the script and the game design. So it's really digesting the game design and bringing some visual with mm -hmm. the team uh, to achieve a high quality uh, goal. High quality goal as like your mask with high quality mask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the smiley man, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm the smiley. And, and I love the nostrils. I love yeah, the nostrils. Yeah. That's my favorite. Me too. <laughs> For bread. So, well, great. <laughs> so, great to know a little bit more about you. And here, Grégory Diaconi, Associate Game Director. Can you sum it up also? Like, what is that yeah, exactly what you I, do? I, I work with this guy. Maybe you heard of him. He's called his name David Cage. Yes. And we worked on, as Christophe said, everything starts with a script. So, okay. we worked. Uh, on the script of the game, and then we work with everybody, all the talented people in the company to make sure that the vision is here, that the game at the end is exactly how we saw it uh, when we designed it, and make sure it's the best game ever. Yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's it. That, that's nice. And uh, Ingrid Sanasi? Hello. Um, am I, say, hello. <laughs> am, I, am I saying that right? <laughs> Sorry? Am I, am I saying your name right? Yes, of course. Okay. Okay, so you are the lead motion kit animation. So yes. what, what exactly does that mean? Motion kit, uh, it's uh, the small name for uh, the gameplay part of the animation. So we have like uh, uh, three departments here in mm -hmm. animation. You have like QT, cutscenes, fashion, performance capture. Okay. And there's this uh, department who is responsible for the player's locomotion when you control you know, uh, people running, etc., okay. and, and also the AI, the the people that you see on in the background. So we're in charge of this. So basically, yeah. when will you have your uh, control pad, exactly, when you make a character move, when it feels like heavy or we everything, that's this. because of you. 
Exactly. <laughs> and if it's bad, you can you can see me also. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to judge because <laughs> my job is to pretend I have one, and actually, we have no one knows what I do. <laughs> so. Uh, so, wh why are we here tonight? Because Friday Night Indie Group obviously was launched 15 years ago. So, happy 15 Friday Night. That's a really nice little excuse to just actually take a little bit of time to uh, remember some nice memories uh, from all these years and all those great games actually provided by Conte. By the way, by the way, talking about Friday Night, I don't know if you noticed, but we have several original versions yes. of, yeah. the, of, of, of the game. So, there you have like the European version for PlayStation 2. This is the US yeah, American version. Mm -hmm. And this is the Xbox version because it's written Xbox on it. And also, I don't know if you saw that. I don't know if you saw that, please. Please, if you can actually like, yeah, like can you actually show them to the camera because I'm a bit clumsy. You don't know. Yeah. And you also <laughs> have like this absolutely new and beautiful collector's uh, edition with a steel case for you. I'm really, really bad at manipulating it. Look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. Beautiful. Look how beautiful. What do you think about this? Yeah, I okay. approve. <laughs> uh, you approve. <laughs> you approve. You approve the packaging. So <laughs> and I do love and it. <laughs> this version is actually available now. You can actually purchase it now on uh, the Quantic Dream eShop. So keep watching us, but also, you know, you know, you might consider just like going and have a look. Yeah, why not? Oh yes, and there is two plenty of, of goodies into it. <laughs> Stickers <laughs> and poster and everything. So yeah, 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 you have like booklets, everything. So yeah. this game was launched in September two, uh, 2005. Uh, personally, I remember what I was doing at that time. I was pretending to be an actor. I was living in a tiny apartment with a PlayStation 1. Cool. So I actually tried to buy this, but it was incompatible. <laughs> 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 And uh, I used to actually use my PlayStation 1 to listen to CDs because yes. my life was great. <laughs> so what were you doing back then? What were you, Ingrid, what were you doing in 2005? Oh, 2005, I think I was younger. Okay. That's, uh, well. That's right. Thank <laughs> you, nice, nice shade. <laughs> nice shade. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, 2005, uh, it was my fourth uh, month anniversary in video games, actually. So okay. I just started in 2005, yeah. All right. Yeah. Wow. All right. In, uh, it was in the south of France, in at Montpellier. Yeah. Oh. And so when when it was launched in November, I think. No. No, September. <laughs> sorry. September. <laughs> September. September. But yeah. We, we, four we, months. We talk about that. Yeah. Four months. Yeah. Okay. And Gregory, do you remember where you were? I, I think I was still a student back then. But I remember I, I just uh, I was getting into PC ga uh, PC gaming and uh, I played the game on PC at the time and uh, yeah that was uh, good memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, like as you great like, as you can see, you have like great student memory. <laughs> <laughs> great one, Christophe. Christophe, you actually joined Quantic Dream uh, for Fahrenheit. What was your your job back then? I used to be uh, the lead set, so uh, the guy in charge of uh, building all of the the environments, uh, the 3D elements, and yeah, yeah. So oh I was right. much more focused on on locations. Uh, more than characters, but um, I, I, I would say because I was a, a, a kind of a Swiss army knife uh, okay. uh, artist, <laughs> yeah. I, I tend to, to do some, uh, some art direction and, and also talk about uh, the UI and the UX and so, so things thing goes on. And, uh, and uh, I think at this time it was really, uh, the everything was... Uh, um, need to be built uh, on this on this uh, game mm -hmm. and uh, people uh, really evolve a lot and uh, and they work a lot uh, not only on their sp own speciality but also providing some uh, feedbacks to other teams and uh, and collaboration so it was it was really uh, not a garage gaming uh, <laughs> uh, period but something something close to it a yeah a bit more diy like like yeah more like artisanal ex ex exactly yeah yeah, and, and actually, so how long did it take? Because uh, the, the, it looked like the game was launched actually in 2005, but how long did it take to make it? So I, I joined uh, Quantic in 2001. Okay. So I just uh, joined the studio and the game was already, uh, uh, how can we say, in pre-production okay. for the concept art. 
And, uh, and uh, just, uh, I just uh, discovered that uh, Quantic was uh, uh, a small team because mm -hmm. it was um, around 30 to 40 people maximum All right. at the production peak. Because now how, how, ma how many people are ah, 200. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, That's close way to more. 200. So <laughs> way more. Yeah. Uh, way more efficient also because uh, everything has evolved, the pipelines, the tools, uh, yeah. the engine, uh, and the, the, the department too. Uh, but let's go back at this time. Uh, uh, every, every w everyone was really uh, on board on this project, yeah. really, really... Passionate. Yeah, exactly, passionate. Yeah. Passionate, yeah. So and, and actually, so how was it, uh, Quantic Dream? The stu how was the studio in the early... Do you have any like stories? <laughs> Some <laughs> stories. Uh, let, let, yes. let, let's just talk about the open space. Okay. We, we were on one open space, okay. uh, which was huge for 40 people because uh, it was really... Uh, and, uh, now, and now it's illegal. Yeah, <laughs> now, now we are much more. Much more You're so. close to that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I do remember that it was really in, in, a, in some industrial uh, 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 feng shui uh, uh, feeling, okay, you know, okay, something like that, with concrete everywhere, cables around the, the tables. Yeah, yeah, uh, the tables were, were some pods where you can collaborate with each other. Okay. It's not, it, wa it's no, it was not in a row All and right. lines and something like that. And uh, yeah, people were really close to each other, you know, uh, in terms of uh, this those really days. passionate, yeah. Do you remember those days when we used to actually mm. touch people? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I don't actually. <laughs> we we, we, we can congratulate each other, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, because actually where we are right now, which is like the beautiful Quantic Dream yeah. Studio Lounge, actually yeah. didn't exist at that time. No, 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 no. no. But it w w was it the same premise? Yeah, it like was in the same building, but uh, we, we got one open space with all the team and another uh, uh, location with a motion capture uh, uh, facility, yeah. which was uh, two floor, in fact. It was still huge because I was coming from a, a small uh, garage gaming company okay. uh, before. Yeah. And uh, I said, yeah, it's really organized, it's, re it's, <laughs> it's really beautiful. And, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, it was this, this discovering uh, this kind of building and mm, organization. And, so. and I've heard that at that time it was very, like you said, it was like very passionate, very artisanal. Yeah. But I heard it's about it's like it's there it's was like still some passionate. Heating. Heating <laughs> and power problem. Well, of course. Of course <laughs> yeah, <power>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying yeah. it was passionate as opposed to now. Yeah. <laughs> but until like it was very artisanal, but just like, and I heard that uh, you had like maybe some heating and power problems. Yeah, I, I won't say artisanal. I, I would say that uh, all the people who are involved in, in all the topics yeah. and trying to understand what is what we call now the interactive drama. Because uh, Fahrenheit is really the first interactive drama that we, 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 we produce. I think that Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, and Detroit owns a lot uh, to Fahrenheit. And uh, I think that, uh, first of all, we, we need to convince also the team yep. uh, of the potential of this kind of game, but also uh, uh, convince the, 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 the players. Yep. Uh, so this is why everybody was re really aboard, uh, on board and, uh, and tried to bring uh, energy and, and ideas because uh, they all do believe to this kind of game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and, and, and they were right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Talking about fifteen, and so you actually said that you were actually in a tiny uh, garage video studio, like yeah. video game studio back then. So actually, it's quite interesting because that's a question I get like quite often. How did you make it into the video gaming industry? Well, oh. all, all three of you, Ingrid. <laughs> Uh, so back in 2005, uh, it's uh, quite. Uh, it's uh, I, I met with a lead uh, animator uh, of King Kong, the, the game, okay. and pff, he just asked me to to teach him a software, a 3D software, because he wanted to introduce it to in, in his uh, in his studio. Uh, so I spent a whole day with him, and just after uh, in the afternoon, I said, Oh yeah. I was an animator. You know, okay, you just were still uh, an animator. Like you yeah. 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 was not just like, well, I'm a genius. But, but, in, <laughs> in, <laughs> but in, in cartoons, you know, okay. uh, before not video games. And then I just said, oh, yeah, would you consider my application? So I said, yeah, come. And that was it. So I started then. Like sounds, this. Sounds, uh, <laughs> sounds way too simple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Yeah, to me, I was, uh, <laughs> so as I said, I was a student. I was in uh, computer science. And okay. at the time, I really like, I thought I could work maybe in video games later, but it was like these crazy things to do. It's not like the most uh, easy, easiest job yeah. to get into, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't seem like the most obvious. Yeah, and I just, uh, uh, there was a game that was a French game that was releasing at the time. It was a, a MMO, uh, at the time a French MMO, it was called uh, Rhizome. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I saw that the game was made in Paris. So I just applied there saying like, I love what you do. Uh, can I do an internship here? And mm -hmm. The crazy thing is that they said yes. Mm -hmm. And I did a six month inter internship there, uh, there. Then I went to, uh, to another company the year after, which was uh, really garage gaming. It was apartment gaming. We were in a small apartment with 12 people doing a horse riding game. And then I met somebody uh, told me, oh, I know people in a Quantic Dream uh, uh, looking to, f for, to make a great project. And I jumped in and here we were. Well, that's where our lives is completely different because I was dreaming of being an actor in Mission Impossible. And when I heard that Mission Impossible was actually shooting in Paris, I went and said, can I have an internship? They said, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just like, I think almost it's the same story as yours, but just like. <laughs> There's a lot of luck uh, involved. <laughs> and, uh, but you, so you both actually yeah. studied like two, like, mm. The, you, you, you studied computer science, yeah. you were an animator. Yeah, yeah, I didn't study animation actually, it was like self-taught uh, from, from when I was a kid till now, so yeah. I said it was a dream so team, sorry, <laughs> sorry I'm talking to geniuses. I mean, I mean <laughs> and what about you, Christophe, what were you? You like want the long story or the <laughs> short one? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> because as I said, I am a grandpa, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm in the computer industry since uh, 27 years, mm -hmm. uh, which make a lot. Uh, and uh, I start in 95 in a small French company called Delphine, Delphine Software. Okay. Uh, they were the creators of uh, Flashback. Yes. So oh yeah. I joined them for the sequel of Flashback, which was called uh, Fade to Black. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I also uh, uh, collaborate on uh, the motor racer uh, game, and uh, after that I, I go to uh, build my own studio uh, with freelancers just to go some uh, CG uh, movie titles and, uh, and architecture uh, visualization, some prototype in video games, and uh, after that I, I joined Quant Quantic in uh, 2001. Yeah. 2000, yeah. yeah. Full Fahrenheit. For Fall Night, yeah. Greg, I think you joined Quantic in twenty seven in yeah, uh, two thousand seven. Yeah, yeah. For, uh, for heavy rain. For heavy rain. Yeah. Heavy rain. Yeah. Heavy rain. So, so how how was the studio back then? I think I think uh, kind of it's kind of interesting uh, what you're describing about the how far a night was made because when I got in I, I really it was kind of crazy because I, I played uh, far night and I, I saw the, the they were making great games but when I arrived I think they were you were just finishing uh, the taxidermist demo on Heavy Rain oh, yeah. so I don't know if you uh, if you know but uh, Heavy Rain we had a DLC called the taxidermist mm -hmm. which was that and actually that was the very first scene that was made so when I arrived it was just they were just finishing the that ver first version of the scene yeah. and it just blew my mind it's uh, just mm. the most beautiful thing I, it, it still holds up today and uh, seeing that in 2007 was crazy and i was like this is the best company ever mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, so when i arrived it was still a bit uh, uh, a bit uh, garage gaming they were still like very yeah, industrial yeah, yeah. in everything there, but there was like the passion of the people who have been there since fahrenheit and uh, this is this is the people who taught me everything and yeah. uh, so that was uh, the the best people to learn with, I think. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. That's ni and yeah. you, Ingrid, you actually came in a bit later. Yes, yes. Just for Beyond. Exactly. So how, like, exactly. How, how, do, do you still like relate to the That's garage gaming uh, type of vibe? Yeah, I think we have like pretty much the common uh, feeling when mm -hmm. we first, for, for you, you, uh, you and me, when we first come to, came to Quantic, uh, it was to see the previous work. Uh, that is for me when I arrived on Beyond Two Souls. Mm -hmm. I was like astonished completely oh <laughs> with the quality of the uh, of games here with the talents also so uh, yeah when I when I arrived on beyond uh, I just saw uh, the small the short film of Kira yeah uh, for me it was unbelievable I, I've been working in video games before mm -hmm. When I arrive here, I'm like, okay, I want to <laughs> like stay forever because <laughs> 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 because if uh, if I'm part of the launch of those quality high quality games, it's uh, 
it's 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 my chance, you know. Yeah. So really, uh, we had the the same uh, impression. Uh, yeah, that. And that's actually why why it's quite nice that you had the the same like you felt like the same passion yes. right right yeah. like off the bat like yeah. when you joined. But you've worked uh, on on all, all, all of us actually were all all through uh, three legendary games and so working all those times like because it takes years to actually like complete a uh, video game. So how does it feel when you actually like? Give it to the public. Mm. How does it? W w what is the feeling? Uh, is it like? Is it like giving away a baby? Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do agree. <laughs> I, I totally yeah, agree. Exactly. I, I, I'm so happy yeah. when the game released. Yeah. Yeah. Just people get to play it. It's the yeah. most. That's why we we worked so hard for for years. And uh, exactly. I don't know how you feel, but uh, I think Detroit was I think special because that was the first time that there was Twitch streaming. Mm -hmm. And mm. this is the first time that we could see like thousands of people playing the game yeah. live. Mm. And, uh, and direct that, reaction. And yeah, yeah. When you media. release a game, even like uh, when we released uh, Heavy Rain, there was this, we did not know how, what, what would be the reception, how mm -hmm. people would react because there was not many games like that. And we could hear people talking, we could hear, the, we could see the press. But here it was, uh, with time it changed and we can see the reaction of so many people right off the bat. That's, that, that's very yeah. different, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and one thing also is that, uh, what I can remember also is the, uh, the impatience that we have. Uh, that is, uh, we've been working so hard uh, for all these years on a game that we love, uh, literally. And then we're going to show it to the world. So yeah. it's like, yeah. okay, <laughs> <laughs> let's do it now. So you have like criticisms, you have like very, very good uh, critics. Also, so you, you take all those news on the, on the day of the launch and then you digest it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but at the end, uh, it's, uh, it's wonderful because, uh, I mean, uh, on Beyond Two Souls, yeah. you, you were talking about uh, yeah. Detroit. Detroit. Uh, the, the, the fans are here, so that's uh, incredible. It's like, uh, really, it's, uh, it's like a reward for yeah. all our work. Uh, all the sacrifice, all here, the hours. Yeah, yeah. Sacrifice, no, it's fun, so yeah. it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the hard work to yeah. achieve really uh, high, high quality uh, uh, on our games, yeah. And speaking of high quality, because Quantic is actually known for like advanced technology, like technological game, just like actually the, 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 the user experience is actually like trying to go really far, to just like really have this immersive, uh, great um, video games and story, story, storyline driven type of video games. So, but between 2001, when you actually arrived, and when you arrived, like ten years, like a decade later, mm, decade. technology, <laughs> like the technology, has evolved yeah. so mm. fast. So actually, what would you say was it like the mo like the motion capture? What what was actually the difference between what? It, how was it back then? Uh, I tend to to say that uh, technology is mo mainly tools and constraints are a space to express yourself. Yeah. And so never be blocked by, by tech or by constraints. Uh, every new platform has very interesting uh, uh, features and, 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 and tech, tech uh, um, uh, can I say features. So how do you use these tools to express yourself, to, do so, to achieve something that you are proud of and, and it, which is reaching the quality bar you are uh, trying to achieve. So that's it. So it's, it's like, uh, you know, a painter. You have your mm -hmm. paintings and your frame, mm -hmm. and uh, you can do some crappy drawing, or you can do uh, uh, something which is in, we, we goes to a museum. Mm -hmm. and, and that's it. Uh, yeah, every, uh, every tech has its, every game uh, has its technology, its ten technological limits or uh, advantages. So you have to really uh, try to exploit really uh, those technos, those tools, yeah. yep. etc. And also one thing that I like here is that we also focus on our future games. Uh, as we are working on one game, we're saying, okay, later we're going to improve this and this and this. That's why uh, I think that our games are continually improving graphically. Uh, uh, I'm from the emission part also, so, so yeah, yeah. So yeah. So 
Yeah, sorry. No, no, I, I was about to say that what was interesting in the way we design games is that every time we tend to look at what the technology can do this time and try to uh, showcase it in a way. Like, yeah. for instance, in Devil Rain, there was like scenes where large, large crowds and everything, and that was part of the, the storytelling of the character yeah. who loses son in the, in the crowd. And because we knew that we could do that and that was possible, we could uh, feature large crowds. So basically, it enabled us to tell like different stories. And at the end of the day, that's really what matters to us is say what, can, what are the stories that we say yeah. and how can the tech help us to do that. Okay, so you wouldn't say that it's actually easier now to make video games like it's easier than before, you would say just it's different? I don't think so, it's, it's different. I don't it's, maybe. different. it's different. It's easier for, for artists because most of the software are much more uh, user friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the same for the, the tech uh, in-house. Uh, we try to make it much more user-friendly and really uh, tailored to your needs. But I think, yeah, uh, it, it's, n it's not, it's easy to, to make things. It's easier to make things. Uh, but we are always trying to do something which, which are difficult. Uh, I mean, I would say yeah. challenging, yeah. you know. And uh, so <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it's easier to do the things that we did 10 years ago. But so let's find other things to do. Yeah. Now. Okay. And yeah, so that's that's how yeah. we always push the, the tech. That's why I never made it in the video. <laughs> 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 I'm a little bit yeah, too lazy. The, the good point is that we are all always learning. Yeah. Always learning. Yes, uh, it's yeah, always so evolving. Right. Yeah. So you need to uh, to make the processes evolve, the methodology evolve, the the, the way you are organized evolve. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's it. So. So. Well, you, well, you were talking about challenges. So, what were the main challenges when you were when you started, like on like when you started working here? And what are like actually the main? Uh, are they the same now? <laughs> like for example, <laughs> for, like for, for 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 Fahrenheit, what was the main challenge? To make oh, the main challenge: uh, understand the, what we need to achieve with the interactive drama. Okay. Uh, not doing some, uh, can I say, the classic video game setup of this really time frame, yeah. precise time frame, uh, and 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 uh, and after that, it's it was yes, much more um, make moving some polygons and being cross-platform, you know, right. uh, because being cross-platform at this time was really 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 uh, uh, pain in the. You in know, in, in, in the uh, body. yeah, it was it was tough. So yeah. uh, <laughs> that's it. Okay. And what would you say was the main challenge to, like, for example, Detroit? Yeah, was it like the multiplicity of endings? What? Yeah, for Detroit, as I say, we continuously learn from previous games to do better and better. So Detroit was uh, our main challenge in animation was to really make this game as uh, reactive, playable as possible. So if you compare with uh, other Quantic Dreams uh, games, you couldn't have uh, that much of interactivity with a player. You were like, for instance, you have uh, camera cuts and mm -hmm. stuff like this, uh, like this. And the deal was really to make the, to have more gameplay in our games. So uh, we started on Beyond Two Souls with that. Mm -hmm. And on Detroit, we tried to have a proof of concept of, uh, of, of this and for our future games. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to talk about right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Just no, no, we won't. Yes. We won't. Um, <laughs> you can yeah. ask, but we will <laughs> give you an answer. We you want to, <laughs> to, to keep our jobs. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, just one last question. You talked about like the challenge of just like being cross-platform, and now like there's even more platform, oh, yeah. like mm -hmm. more consoles, more like PC, mm. more device, more services. So how how is it really hard? Like the the hard part when you say being cross-platform is it like do you have like the same quality on every platform? Is that yeah? It's it's yeah. It's exactly so. uh, providing the, the same level of quality for any player on any platform, and you don't have any gaps about what you, you, the feeling of the player, the, the yeah. fun of playing, you know. Uh, so make it seamless through the platform yeah. so every player ca can experience the same uh, 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 game, you know, same feeling, so yeah. that's it. How do you do that? Mm. 
That was my question. Uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of work from the. Do you, do you have? A I knew. I knew yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew Welcome I knew, to our TED talk. And I did it anyway. Yes, I'm nope. not very smart. So uh, maybe maybe it's time because obviously we don't have like safe hours. No. Nope. <laughs> But uh, maybe it's time to welcome another guest and actually now because I've been asking some questions so maybe now it's time to have another guest and get some questions from the uh, community. So here we go. Yeah. Cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, joining us now in a few seconds is Blue, our beautiful community manager. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How what up, Blue? How's it going? Ah, nice, nice, nice. Oh, wow. You're so lucky to be home without a mask. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I am home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no mask for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here with us today. For those who don't already know you, uh, be, be, because like they exist, uh, you are Quantic Dreams North America and UK Community Manager, right? That is correct. Yes. Yeah. I am Blue Owls Medic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And actually, I know for a fact that uh, you actually got this job because you were a fan first. That is correct. Yeah, I, that's how it started for me uh, two and a half years ago. Uh, you know, when Detroit came out, I was just a huge fan. And I started making content for it and just really interacted with the community. And over the last two and a half years, I'm now at this point. So I definitely started as a fan first and just kind of kept interacting and engaging. Yeah, so if, if there's like something to uh, get from this experience, like believe in your dreams, believe in your dreams. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even though, even though mine have never actually came true, but still believe in your dreams because actually blue is an example. So, do you have do you have actually any any special memories from 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 uh, our games that you would like to share with us? What was your favorite moment? Because also you have like three people oh. who work on the game. Yeah, I mean, I think my favorite moment for me was playing the demo of Detroit Become Human um, because I actually played that at a convention in, here in Seattle months before the game actually released and I hadn't heard of it before <laughs> until I went to this convention and I had a friend really want me to play it because she thought I would like it and I remember distinctly seeing who is now Connor Brian Deckard's face really big on it Detroit Become Human and I was like <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think I want to play that. And she was like, you're a fool if you don't play this game because you're going to love it. And I was like, okay. So we waited three hours to play the demo and I just loved it. Um, so that was like September of 2017. Um, so just that, like going from no initial like concept of an idea to just loving it. Like I think everybody understands that feeling of connection with your new hyperfixation. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was like my... My favorite experience um, was playing the demo. Okay, and That's now cool. you get to ask questions. Like, like is it? Is it is it's a beautiful story. It yeah, yeah it's in story. fact. <laughs> and so welcome to it's the always, team. It's always very humbling. I'm sorry. So, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, and now you actually like after like being a fan, you actually get to ask questions from the fans. I know. <laughs> for us. So, uh, actually, what, what what do you have? What do you have for us? Yeah, I just want to thank everybody for putting in their questions. I've been uh, collecting them. So I have a handful that I have. Um, so for the three of you guys, um, so basically the first question is, in such a big company, how do you start with a fresh game idea? What is the process from initial concept to production? Or even um, like when you first have an initial concept for a game, what is sort of top of mind? What's like your number one thing that you get to work on? Okay. Mm. That's why uh, the people from the community should ask the question because they are way better than mine. Uh, <laughs> so who wants to answer? But maybe, maybe Christophe. That's for both of you. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a harsh uh, topic because uh, you need to know that some uh, the basic uh, uh, ideas are coming uh, from discussion or from mainly from David because mm -hmm. he has he had something in mind and he really wants to develop. Uh, the, this idea with us. So uh, I do remember that. Uh, um, let's talk about the shortcut Kara. Mm -hmm. You know, the, uh, it, 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 he, I was uh, having some dinner with him, and uh, we come back uh, at home. Uh, we, uh, uh, and during the, the journey, he said that, oh, yeah, Christophe, you need to know that I have an idea of uh, an android becoming a human. 
And uh, I say, oh, okay, uh, it's interesting. Uh, okay, uh, let's talk about it tomorrow uh, and um, <laughs> see what we can uh, achieve. And uh, and that's it. So okay. it, it could be, f uh, uh, how can you say, a, a small um, idea sharing with someone or some small team, and every everybody agree on and start to uh, to be focused on on to it. Yeah. And so when that's do it. W is there a moment where you know it, like, you know, okay, this is the idea, because I'm sure there's plenty it's, of it's it. It's actually, uh, there's a lot of, um, it's very organic in the way it's, uh, the, the experience is built. Like if we take Detroit, for instance, it started because we said, okay, let's, let's try to make a game out of the car uh, short, actually. Yeah. And it started just with one idea, which was uh, just, Okay, what happened to Kara after yeah. the short? First, the and short was yeah, Kara, the uh, Kara's character, and then yeah. Yeah. let's explore. And let's and on we saw like what would be her journey. Let's think about the world around her and what would be the the, the, the characters in that world. And then we thought about this android Connor and this other android Marcus, and things started to 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 fall into places. And it takes a long time because we we don't really know what to find as we build it, but. At some point, and it can happen very early or very late, uh, we start to figure out what, what is it really about. Okay. And, um, and sometimes it can be just uh, one scene, one moment, one dialogue when you say, wow, we're starting to, to, to see what it is really, yeah. what the game really is. And you start to think uh, about the, the, global, the big picture after that. Yeah. But it's very much like uh, there, there's something that uh, I'm going to steal uh, 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 an image from David, but it's very much like a painter, like putting uh, touches of color on a, on the painting, just like you put the, uh, the, those touches of, uh, of colors, and then at some point you see the the, the, the painting, and you're like, okay, this is yeah. what it was mm. about. Okay. So it's very much, uh, yeah, we don't go with a straight plan and saying, okay, this is what we're going to uh, accomplish. Yeah. Okay. And there's so one more important point also. Uh, you were talking about hostage. Uh, one yes, thing yes. that, uh, just uh, a little hint that oh, we've got something, is that when we were having fun playing this only first scene also in the studio. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was something, you know, it's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, because you have so much uh, uh, paths, so much endings yeah. of this scene, and personally, I, I don't think I've seen all of them. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I've played at Detroit too. <laughs> <laughs> No, okay. animation. Yeah, we, we are still upgrading <laughs> the ending. <laughs> no. This is like the you have to keep ending like DLC. This, yes. is yes. <laughs> this is a typical Detroit conversation. Oh, is were you happy sure. with your ending? Were you happy with your ending? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. And today, what happened? In yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> no, but yeah. it's, it's really uh, surprising that uh, you've spent so much time on a game and that it continued to surprise you. So yeah. it's that's yeah, when, yeah. Uh, when you know it's working. So. We, we also uh, always, always start to... Uh, uh, Try to uh, have an. Uh, can I say? Um, we are building some uh, what we call vertical slice. Mm -hmm. So uh, the vertical slice is, is it's a first uh, scene. It's a it's a kind of uh, a proof of uh, concept. Uh, of, of conception. Of conception. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, just to to be sure that the, the first idea is is really good and we can achieve it with the right quality. The the, the storytelling uh, is the storytelling uh, uh, really um, obvious. Uh, relevant and all, all this stuff. Yeah. So, so it's it's really a long journey, but when we get to the the vertical slice, we have plenty of answers about the world, the visual, yeah. the tech, everything. Yeah. So it, it's it's really building blocks, you know, and and yeah. play with it. And it's the same uh, for the project. Uh, uh, David is usually coming with uh, with some ideas, uh, some synopsis, but. Mm -hmm. We never uh, start a pre-production with a full script, a full okay. written script. Mm. So, as, as Greg said, things are organic, you know. Uh, when you start doing some concept art, you can feed uh, the writing team. And when they come back with ideas, they fed the concept art team and maybe the people mm. in the team. So, it's really a kind of ping-pong, you know, uh, process. Yeah. And, uh, okay. and that's it. A bit like this question. Yeah, exactly. I was actually not expecting the answer to be so long. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, but it's, great. it's great. That's how, like, you know. So the answer is you need to have a great idea and most importantly, have dinner with David Kate. <laughs> 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 so do you, do, you have an, do you have another question? I do. Um, so this is a little bit simple, but um, I think it's very interesting. Um, how do you decide on the visual graphics style of the game? 
Does it start with mood boards or concept design? I know when I, I got a chance to visit your guys' studio and I saw a lot of mood boards, which I thought was really cool to like set the coloring and the tone and the aesthetic. Um, but how do you like, how, do, how does that process look and how do you like all agree on what the style will be? Maybe. Uh, I should take that. that. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Let's ask the, the other. <laughs> Grandpa <laughs> Creeper. Yeah. yeah, I will try to do it in a nutshell. So, yes, we we receive the script and we start to digest. So the script is usually uh, coming with some uh, uh, intentions. Uh, yeah, intention and image yeah. references that help David to to move on his concept. Uh, what we need to do is di digesting this script and and uh, we come back with fresh ideas with uh, a, a new vision, providing maybe, maybe something he didn't uh, think about it. And, and uh, yes, it's, it's plenty of mood boards first. Uh, after that, we start to do some concept art. Uh, so it's really to provide some mood and ambience to some location, uh, let's say key shots or, or moments of the, the script. And usually what we, 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 we are doing is, is uh, going to uh, do some scooting, uh, specifically, specifically when we have uh, chosen a specific location like Detroit, but on Fahrenheit it was Manhattan. Mm -hmm. we, go, we go to Manhattan just to do some Scouting, scooting for, some sc scutting for, for, okay. for two weeks, mm -hmm. uh, taking pictures, references, uh, and also bring back the mood of the city, you know, because yeah. uh, in per Paris is, is really different from Manhattan really different from Detroit. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Heavy Rain was much more focused on, on uh, Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. So we bring back the feeling of what we, 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 we the feeling we receive uh, during the scooting and try to achieve it uh, through the visual. If you have a look to Heavy Rain, when we go, ba go to Philadelphia, uh, we were a little bit depressed by the, the <laughs> mood, the mood of the city, because it's, it's really a huge industrial city, yeah. uh, close to New York, but it, 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 it was a little bit depressing, you know. Uh, so actually, yeah, it does influence the, e the mood. Exactly, yeah, and, so and we come back to the studio, we say, okay, okay. What we had in mind, let's uh, emphasize the, the, okay, the yeah. depressing yeah. elements yeah, yeah. with chimney smoke, yeah. uh, desaturated colors, yeah. and that's it. It's the process. So it's not um, usually mood boards and concept art are a safe line to do to achieve something. But on the road, you can discover many different ways of different approach. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. it. You have to experience and have the feeling. And exactly. Then and, uh, and I would just add something that yeah. is uh, the mood boards that uh, Christophe and the art team does are really the guidelines for the other departments also because as we say, mood board. So for, pit for animation, for instance, you have to understand the ambience. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it comes out first from visual. Okay. It's also the script and the game design, but before brainstorming about the character, we really uh, have uh, all, the, all the concept arts and we try to figure out what's the person thinking uh, and it's directly coming from Christophe's uh, department. So okay. it's very important to know that this is the starting so point. Every stage actually feeds the next exactly, one. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a kind of safe line, you know, mm. for everyone. And uh, but it's it's a huge team, you know. Mm. Uh, people are very involved. Uh, usually on pre-production, we are around 20, 25 people in the concept art team, mm -hmm. with uh, docum documentation researcher, uh, stylist for for the outfit. Uh, architect also for the location, so yeah. it, it's yeah. really, really close to, a, let's say, a, a movie uh, organization, you yeah. know, making a movie like in fact. production of movies. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And uh, before, uh, actually, uh, the, the, the next question, I want to say that, of course, if there's anybody watching us from Philadelphia, we love you, it's, it's a great city. Yeah, yeah, it's a great city, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not everybody is No, 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 no. <laughs> so, uh, can, maybe, maybe another question, Blue, for us? Yeah, it's actually the final question I have. Um, so I saw a couple of questions regarding open positions at Quantic Dream, like in the art on the art team. Um, are, is Quantic Dream hiring? And what do you look for somebody who is looking to apply um, at Quantic Dream? 
Wow. <laughs> we are absolutely hiring. It's, a, <laughs> it's an HR please, meeting. Please apply. <laughs> uh, right now, uh, and what we look for, I think it, uh, in heart or in general, what we look for is people that are obviously talented, mm. but passionate and really want to, to, to build the future, build great stories and uh, be part of a great team. So that's uh, whatever. Uh, the, the I'm looking for it. people in animation. So sorry. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you can actually apply on quanticdream.com yeah, uh, in the career yes. section. Yeah. Okay, for example, exactly. me, I applied and I made this myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Art and craft. That is not true. This is part of the collector's edition and it's actually <laughs> available on the eShop. I wish I knew yeah, that yeah, and I would not be here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a genius. So, uh, that was, the, that was the, the, the last question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of great ones, but we just picked um, ones that I saw quite a few of. So yeah, thank you so much for everybody in the chat for asking their questions and thank you guys for your time and answering them. Absolutely, yeah, thank you. you. Just like keep asking more questions. That's great. Thank you, Blue, for thank actually you, Blue. picking up yes, like yes. this great uh, question. And, and, I love Blue. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, actually stick with us. I'd like to do a little, like I'd like to now go to what I call the Quantic Quiz. Oh. Because oh. we're all going to do like a little oh game. No. Oh. It's a quiz. <laughs> oh, wow. and, I'm, and I'm really good at naming stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so it's a little quantic uh, quiz. Everybody can participate, of course. Just like you can actually, like, you can play with us, of course, Blue, please. And you can actually okay. tell everybody online that can actually just like shoot us some answers on the chat. So, Blue, Christophe, Ingrid, Gregory, are you ready? Yeah? No. Are you ready? Do yes. we need a buzzer? <laughs> okay. No, 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 Let me explain. Okay. Let me explain. Before okay. I'm starting answer. So this is going to be a five question quiz. But, but for you guys, there's a little bit of an extra rule. If you want to take the lead, there's no buzzer. But if you think, oh yes, I have the answer. How do you do? You have to tell me your name. Okay, for example, I, I, I say, uh, Ingrid, what is this? Ingrid. And you say, oh, I know, you say, Ingrid, Ingrid. and Sabine. Okay, okay. There's okay a multiple, fine. That, that's a multiple um, um, uh, answer type of question. So is it clear for uh, 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 everyone? Is it clear? Yeah, is it so. clear? Do you know, yeah. that you all know so what we have to say Ingrid, right? <laughs> you have to say Ingrid. Right? <laughs> you have to say Ingrid. <laughs> 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 I got it. <laughs> You exactly. have to say okay, okay, well, okay. a name, a okay. name, okay. Okay. someone's name, okay. please. So, that, of course, because we are actually celebrating Fahrenheit 15th anniversary, the first question is going to be about Fahrenheit. <laughs> actually, the game was first launched in September 2005. But, what day was Ooh. it exactly? Wait a minute. There's maybe a little clue. Maybe, maybe. Look at that, look at that. I have this beautiful Fahrenheit Ooh. original poster. <laughs> I hope you can see that. Okay. So, Ingrid! Uh, wait! <laughs> I haven't even asked the question yet, see? <laughs> That's not what I, when I say. Is it clear to say yes, Ingrid? Yes, of course. I know your name, is it? Wait, wait for it. Please wait for me. <laughs> like, 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 just wait for me to just ask like, the all questions. So, Fahrenheit was first launched in 2005, but when exactly? A, was it September 9th, as, it's, uh, as actually it's written on the poster? Oh. B, oh. September 16th, twist, actually. C, September, eh, sort of, I guess, I don't know. Answer D, I don't understand this game, I have no idea. <laughs> Go. Well, yes! <laughs> <laughs> see, you don't... <laughs> see, see, doing this... I was, I was so concentrating <laughs> that I just <laughs> forgot. So yeah, Blue. She forgot a name. So Blue, please. I'm going to say C. I think it's a trick question. Because I think that there were two different release dates for Europe and for North America. I think it came out. It didn't come out on the same day. And so your answer is? Yeah. C? C or it's, or it's like, like B. B. I think it's, I think B, it's B, B that it came out on the 16th, but I think it also released a second time in another oh, no. district. You are trying to remember the, what? What is? <laughs> is it C or B? Okay. I'm gonna say C. 
¿Di? Sí. Sí, sí. Sí, sí. Ah. Oh, no. And no. that was not. The good answer, the good answer was actually your first instinct. It was, you were actually, everything you said was right, except the <laughs> final answer. Just, the answer is B, because oh, wow. even though the poster says uh, launch, like the release, the release date is uh, September 9th, actually, because of some stuff that I don't want to go into right now, we actually had to be launched on September yeah. 16th. Mm. Don't, like, the lesson is, do not believe everything you see on posters and <laughs> on internet. Yeah. So and I do remember because I was living on holidays. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you still did not know, like, you still didn't give the answer. <laughs> so it was a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> so second question. Because this one was way too easy. Obviously. Yes. Well I'm and I'm adding a new twist to take the lead. Now, now, now. You have to give your name. Plus, the name of a Quantic Dream video game character. I know. Okay. So, here's a question on Beyond Two Souls. Who are, who are the two souls? A. Jody and Hayden. B. Jaden and Hody. <laughs> C. Jay-Z. <laughs> And Queen B. <laughs> D. Connor, Marcus, and Kara, who actually can share two souls because they're androids and they can do whatever they want as long as they actually um, do the update because, you know, computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go! Christoph, Ingrid! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> you actually just yeah. like, tap on your knee like so fast yeah, and you don't say your name. I'm Christoph. old, but I have some reflexes. <laughs> So, uh, Please yes. take his microphone. Tyler Nice. <laughs> so let's say uh, Jody and Aidot. So answer a. a. Answer A. Yes, of course. Yes, that, <laughs> that was that was Jody and A. Then do you have uh, do you have actually any special memories about Beyond Two Souls that you want to share? Oh, a lot. oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, but yeah, a lot. But in another not, not enough time. <laughs> no, not enough another time. stream. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So third question. Third. Qu I love that game. I love that game. Third question. <laughs> New twist. Sorry, I'm getting <laughs> So, new twist. Before you give your answer, you have to give you. Oh, by the way, Christophe, wrong answer. You didn't give me. Exactly. You yeah. didn't give me an A. Yeah. I, even I forget say, the rules. Yeah, I say Tyler Miles. <laughs> I forget the rules. Uh, you should have. Tyler Miles. <laughs> oh, yeah. Christophe, yeah, Tyler Miles. Okay, well. Yeah, you can uh, look back. Can we have the a stream. Listen, replay, please? No, we yeah. can. <laughs> so, third question. New twist. Before the any answer, I need your name, the name of a cutie character. And the name of the game where oh. you can find this <laughs> very yeah. character. Blue, are you still focused? Blue is so focused. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so much on the line. So, so, so. <laughs> Careful. Question three. Which of those characters does not appear in a Quantic Dream game? Answer A. David Getter. And to B, David Bowie. C, David Cage. D, a pigeon, which might be called David too, but you know, I don't know, I'm not a pigeon. Please, go. So okay, it's your turn. Okay, let's go. So <laughs> <laughs> you are so polite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, please, please give. Yeah. So Greg, uh, Tyler Miles, uh, Knight. You can't actually say tw like the same character twice. Yeah, okay, no. so let's say Kara and Detroit become human. And that's that's, that, that's, that's good. it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what was the question? No. Uh, and <laughs> 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 David Guetta, is that it? I don't think he's in the game. No, you said David, you said David Guetta. Yeah. That's your final answer. I, I think it is. David Guetta has never been in a quantum dream. You're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. David Bowie was towering in Omicron, the oh, Nomad yeah. Soul, which was actually Quantic yes. Dream's very first game. Yeah. David Cage, our talented writer, director, and boss, is <laughs> starring in Fahrenheit. And 
more on this uh, on, on a moment, actually. And Ingrid, there is something with the pigeons in Detroit becoming human. Yes, <laughs> we have a wonderful character, our best ever, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Really, uh, you one. know, <laughs> a lot of Connor. personality, <laughs> lots of tension and emotion, you know, mm -hmm. with those pigeons. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so what, what, what happened? What, what is the story? Yeah, it was on, on Detroit. Uh, on Detroit. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to do, so we were in charge of AIs. Okay. So we wanted to be able to walk through pigeons, you know. Mm -hmm. And then they just uh, react to you, and then uh, just tick 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 tick, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then yeah. fly. It was like a funny stuff to do. So with our team, we did this crazy thing that is uh, we actually went in the park, uh, <laughs> just uh, uh, okay. on the other side. There's a lot of pigeons. Yes. And for li like t uh, every morning, we film each other uh, approaching those pigeons, <laughs> seeing their reaction, like. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And then the funny part is that you 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 see uh, uh, three uh, mockit animators, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> flying and then filming pigeons and then flying. Uh, uh, not flying, sorry, flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Running. The pigeons. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 the pigeons. Okay, yeah, of course, just obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. Know yeah. In, in Paris, pigeons <laughs> do not fly. Yeah. And what? <laughs> I, I think that it could be uh, quite interesting to ask for the to the community. Uh, do you prefer pigeons or fish? In beyond, in beyond, oh. in, in Detroit, <laughs> in Detroit. <laughs> 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 because I think there is. Let's organize a clash. Yeah, you know, okay. Yeah. 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 If you have to save one of them. Oh yeah, a battle clash. clash. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a dilemma. <laughs> But the, the, the funny part is that in motion kits, we really can take the, the pad and, uh, and control them. We can control AIs that you don't eventually mm -hmm. control in the oh. game. And so the pigeons, when we did this motion kit, it was like so fun, you know? <laughs> you have, where is, you, you had this camera and it, you're like, where is it? <laughs> you had to look down and then it was, uh, yeah, cool moments. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great. So, <laughs> next question, are you ready? It's about heavy rain. Okay, you ready? So, no. now, to take the lead, <laughs> you have to say your name, the character, the game, and the platform or device where you can play that game. Well, you can't. Where you, you, can't can, you can, you, you can. can. <laughs> so, my question is, what's the nickname of the main villain in heavy rain. Please feel free to answer in the chat. Is it A, the sashimi killer? Is it B, the onigiri killer? Is it C, the origami killer? Or D, the paper folding artist formerly known as the origami killer? Or simply put, TPFAKOK, tap four. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we actually spent a lot of time. Oh, yes, blue. Blue, blue, blue Connor Detroit Become Human PS4 also available on PC on Steam. Wow! <laughs> wow! Good answer. I don't care about the answer. This is good. <laughs> so, uh, it is, it is, it is the origami killer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yes, and to see pretty easy. easy. I, I like one. Your, your, your and your yes, video. yes, yes, uh, a full team. It was not the unfolding uh, killer? Well, <laughs> I thought it was Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you've been working on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not totally sure. No, the paper folding <laughs> artist formerly known as Origami Killer was actually, um, it took us like, I don't know, maybe two days to come up with that That's thing. <laughs> yes, there was That's a big you. team of writer yeah. where to read. <laughs> Loads of Japanese restaurant menu. Yeah, yeah. To come up with that question. We have to redo the so, game now. Yes, our life is really difficult. You just play with pigeons. We we do sushi. <laughs> <laughs> we do sushi jokes. So, you know the rules. There's a last question, and the winner wins nothing. But it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, you have to say your name, a character, the game, the platform, and somewhere you can buy the game. It's okay, you know. Really easy. <laughs> so, the Android Kara was seen for the very first time in 2012 in a short animated animated movie. What model was Kara back then? A, a T800. 
B, a GX4000. C, a Cara Deuce Pro Max 256 gigs. <laughs> D, an AX400. <laughs> Have you, did you understand what I just said? Or just <laughs> 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 you just <laughs> Go for it. It's, it's the AX400. <laughs> oh, oh. You didn't. It's a, great, it's a great answer, but wrong answer because you didn't is say it. Your, it's, a, no, it's, a, it's a good answer, but you, did you say your name was Blue? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't <laughs> say sing. <laughs> but of course, this is the good answer. And so D, AX4, uh, AX400. Uh, by the way, did you all work on this short film? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. You, you on the short one, no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Blue. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much for having joined us today. Please, every, please, everyone, please listen to me. Go, go on Twitter, and go follow Blue Olds Medic. She really knows everything about Cantic Dream and uh, <laughs> handle. Yes, of course, she knows everything. Except like that, she has to say the name, the character. But for actually Quantic Dream things, just like go follow Blue on Twitter and on all social media. Uh, and coming next, some more chit chat with our guest. And then we'll be playing Fahrenheit, Indigo Prophecy. Well, I will be doing it. And I'm going to need your help. <laughs> Please. <Yeah. laughs> Bye, Blue. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> So, this is the time where we're going to talk about what we feel like. This is what we call mood and attitude. Well. <laughs> so, actually, before we end this, this little show, we'd like to, you, let's have a quick chat about uh, what you've been into lately. What, what you feel like, what were actually, let's just, I mean, what you, what actually, what uh, came to your attention lately? Christophe. Oh, let's start with Ingrid, no? I'm, I'm, I'm doing. Do you want to do? Lady, <laughs> let, let's say lady, f lady first. <laughs> no. Lego. Okay. Let's start with Christophe. Let's start with Exactly. Uh, right. Then, uh, so let's talk about video games because yeah. oh. we have some good video games releasing right now. And uh, one that I really like took me by surprise. It's called Thirteen Sentinels. Okay. Eggy Swim. And it's PS4? on PS4, absolutely. Mm. And it's in this, uh, you know, like very popular genre of like a visual novel slash interactive drama slash adventure game slash tower defense slash, slash uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Japanese teenager piloting giant robots. And uh, it's, you know, like the usual stuff. Yeah. And uh, it's incredibly uh, well written. It's uh, 13 characters, 13 stories. It's it goes from like 1940 to two, uh, 2100. It's, it's, it's a crazy story. They are twists like every five seconds. It's a very different type of game from what you usually are playing, which means I love it. And, uh, and yeah, it was a great surprise. It's not very well advertised. And um, if you like uh, different kind of stuff and uh, things you don't usually get to play, uh, I would recommend it. Well, that was a, I, wa I, wa I want to play it now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play it. So, Ingrid, what, 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 what's your... Let's start with your... Christophe. Okay, okay. <laughs> no oh, okay. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Okay, Christophe. So, um, <laughs> uh, I, I can't come with my surfing board. So, uh, this okay. is why I, I come some with some books. Wow. Uh, let's, let's start with the first one. So, it's a French edition oh. of yes. Dune. Oh, from uh, nice. the famous writer uh, Frank, uh, Frank Herbert. Frank. Yeah. Uh, it's the 50th uh, anniv anniversary. 50th anniversary. Yeah, and uh, and uh, I think it's, it's uh, an amazing book. It's uh, an amazing uh, cycle. Uh, if, you yeah. if you do love uh, science science fiction, mm -hmm. yeah. specifically the you the God yeah the God um, yeah, Emperor of Dune is amazing because it's a, it's a kind of uh, a journey through centuries and uh, yeah. it's and because also it's it's coming back in, in, the, in the actuality uh, with uh, Donny Villeneuve uh, yes. movie. Yes, uh, has been postponed by the Yeah, way. but Donny, if you can hear me, uh, uh, <laughs> can, you, can I have a private... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
check. It's the only time you yeah, get it could to be see good, it. but uh, yeah. So if you do love science fiction, uh, reread uh, June. June. Yeah, June. June. Before, yeah, because we have a little bit of time before the actual new movie. Yeah. Or yeah. And also, you can watch the original movie. That was actually yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I do. L- exactly. I do love David David Lynch uh, mm. uh, version. He's, he's quite good at cinema. David Lynch. David Lynch. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> he's quite it's good. At and, uh, anything else? Yeah. Oh. I've got plenty of things yes. for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's a it's a book. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's called Punk Vinyl. Is it about punk and vinyl? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So it's 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 in French, unfortu- unfortunately, mm-hmm. but I think that maybe it could be translated uh, with some yeah, publisher because it's really a good yeah. movie, a mm. good, book. good book. And and uh, there it's it's a journey through uh, the punk uh, LP covers uh, with famous uh, 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 graphic stuff, yeah. famous bands. So I think it's an, it's really amazing and it's, it's really visual. So if you do lo- love uh, music, punk, uh, punk rock, and uh, what leads to new wave and to grunge, uh, if you do love music, uh, it's uh, an amazing, an amazing uh, book. And because <laughs> I'm talking about book, uh, I've come with some LPs. Uh, cool. My favorite ones, uh, The Damned and, and The Sex Pistols. Yeah. Uh, it's really, it was really a punch in the head when I heard this when I was a teenager. And uh, so that's it. Okay. <laughs> cool. That was actually that's half <laughs> of Christoph's <laughs> library. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> because <laughs> And a do huge amount of things. Do we <laughs> win them if we just yes, yes, no, 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 yeah, yeah, no, because they are uh, <laughs> really original vinyl, so it's <laughs> 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 mine. That's, that's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> that's disappointing. Ingrid? I'm not sure. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I think this year, uh, with all the stuff, you know, I, I've become uh, like mm. crazy about music. music yeah. <laughs> I'm like, uh, for the little history, I'm, I'm uh, in the middle of a s- wonderful challenge for myself. I'm making my own video game. Okay. <laughs> so, wait. Uh, my own video game, and uh, the idea is to learn and apply it in the game. So, when it comes to music, so. so uh, that's the music, that's your music. This is one music. This is uh, like a silly music that I did uh, from recording stuff in my kitchen. So that's, that's your that's the, your kitchen noise. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. I was one. like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> that's not the type of noise. Though. With forks, ah, etc. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, and not uh, while you were actually cooking. It uh, doesn't make this noise. We d- are no, no, no. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming more and more obsessive about this. So uh, just after work, I just hop in. Just making music with. Yeah, today we can teleport with uh, one button. You know, you just close your your computer and then you open it and you're at home. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, um, uh, music composition uh, uh, is driving me, driving me crazy right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. Me, 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 my, my, I, I'm not giving my, my, what I'm really into because uh, I'm, what is I'm your just, mood? my mood are your, sh- your shoes, oh, okay. beautiful <laughs> shoes, I'm into shoes, <laughs> I'm really into shoes, and it's the best time of my life to be into shoes because we might go back into lockdown at some point, so I will yeah. never wear them, <laughs> that's, that's a great idea for me, so, uh, I think we're almost done, yeah. I think we're almost wow. done, uh, there's also, I think I would say that what I'm actually a bit into is that actually I'm really waiting for the PlayStation 5. Yes. Well, yeah. I haven't, like, as I told you, I, have, I, 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 I actually kept my PlayStation 1 for years. I was really attached to it, so now, now it's completely dead. And my brother actually stole my PlayStation 4, like, as soon as I actually bought it. He was like, okay, that's mine now. <laughs> so I'm really, I'm really into, like, the PlayStation 5, and I would like to try the Xbox. Uh, mm. the, the, new, the new Xbox Series uh, mm. X and S. So how do you feel, uh, how do you feel about those, uh, those consoles? Oh, pretty exciting. Uh, it's yeah, always like course. a new generation, new stuff to see. Mm. New challenges. New challenges, new challenges, but like uh, I'm kind of excited to play the remake of uh, Demon's Souls. Mm-hmm. Mm. Looks beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So, uh, oh, by the way, Christophe, there's another thing on your uh, agenda. Special item coming on the eShop, the Every Rain 10th anniversary poster. And it's signed by David Cage, writer yeah. and director. 
uh, Thierry uh, Prodom. Yeah, that's it. And, 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 and also, it has to be signed. Uh, sorry, I have to, because here it is. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. I just Beautiful. The first it's one. a limited edition. Wow. <laughs> There's only 100 copies. Yeah. So, Christophe, the, so actually, can you actually, the, uh, have, have you signed this one? Yes, this one. In the middle. In the middle? Yeah. That's this one. So, uh, I don't want to be putting pressure on your shoulder, but there's a hundred um, copies of this. Yeah, I know. So, actually, <laughs> I'm going to tell you that what you are going to be doing is not read June. You have to sign 99 other yeah. uh, posters like that. Yeah, but can, you, can, you go, can you do that now? Yeah, I can do. Are you <laughs> not doing that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, it's because it's available, it's, still, it's available on the eShop. Yeah. So you have to sign them because yeah. if, if there's only I one do. sign. To <laughs> okay, so uh, just another reminder uh, before we uh, end this for you guys and gals watching us live. Promo code 10% off uh, the eShop. Just type Indigo when you place your order. The code will be available until November 1st, 11.59 p.m. CEST. Okay? Okay, everyone, let's uh, end this by a little bit of a let's play. Okay? Yes. It's time for us to dive into Fahrenheit Indigo Property. We've been talking about it and all the memories. Uh, it's live right here, right now. And of course, each one of you can join the party on the chat and make fun of me. <laughs> because, <laughs> as, as you will see, I'm really good at that. So, let's play. New movie. I'm just gonna play a little bit of the tutorial, please. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes. It's loading. Wow. Oh, who is this? Hi, my name is David Cage. He's famous. I'm a writer yeah. and director. Oh, yeah, I know him. Have you, have you, have you, uh, uh, there's a story no, no. I've seen him somewhere. You, get mm. you don't remember. I like to take my friend Buck. You'll be oh, the guy. While you're oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's begin with something simple. Move toward the mark on the floor. <laughs> what? Wow. The kids are great. I'm walking. What do you think of the kids? Perfect. Oh. Wow. So, so this, the way I feel right now, with the yeah, camera, what's should your... be your work. Exactly. Even yeah. though you didn't work on this game. But no. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Now you know how to move about. You're also going to have to be able to observe your environment. Yeah, speed screen. It's true. We need, we need a lot of that. Yeah, there was a lot of that. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm doing good. What's this so difficult? No, no. Should we maybe play? Yeah, let's play. Because I feel like I'm really good at it now. Yeah. How do I get? Stop. <laughs> yes. Stop. Okay. New game. So, tell me, uh, Christoph, how does it feel? Have you, have you, have you been uh, playing? It's, it's like. Uh, getting back uh, with your childhood uh, notebook, you know, and discovering that uh, all the, the path and the journey you've been uh, achieving uh, yeah. Yeah. from uh, Fahrenheit to Detroit. <laughs> 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 so and and do, do, do you feel weird like going back into a, uh, an old game you've been working on? Yeah, it's, like it's, it's always weird, yeah. It's yeah. always weird. Uh, yeah, but, but uh, the funny part is that you don't remember everything, so it's quite surprising yeah. that you. Yeah, yeah. It's, like it's a, a kind of game, yeah. rediscovering things. Yeah. Uh, for the bad and for the good, also, because sometimes uh, we've got some, uh, say, sad stories or good stories. So. Yeah. Do, do you sometimes just like actually? Oh, actually, we could do that. I didn't, I didn't remember that. Yeah, uh, yeah, actually, yeah. all the time, yeah, all yeah, the time. Yes. And yeah, you surprised, like pleasantly surprised. Like, oh wow! Yeah. There I was some stuff that we were like, oh my god, we, we did good at the time. <laughs> and uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, as Christophe said, it's always like you, you don't remember like the moments. You remember when you were making them. Mm. You really remember the, the people you were working with. It's uh, the people or the pigeon. Mm. Absolutely, the pigeon. Or the, <laughs> or the pigeon that we, we worked so hard with. Famous. <laughs> Indigo prophecy. 
Yeah, we were talking about sad stories. Uh, the intro of, uh, of Fine Night was really... Uh, oh, it's you! Oh, it's you. Uh, yeah, it's, it's me you. and Thierry. Uh, uh, back in time. Yeah. Oh, and uh, you need to know that uh, when we were making the, the demo of the game, uh, uh, it was the day before 9-11. And, and we were supposed to, to release the demo uh, to the publisher, and uh, so 9-11 okay, so happened, so it was really, really sad. And uh, we were knocked out and really... S yeah, knocked out. Yeah. So you had to redo a load? Yeah, we had to review. So it's, it's really o always emotional when, when I see the, yeah. the fly through Manhattan. Yeah. So how, well. how long did you stay in Manhattan to get? Oh, uh, two two weeks. We uh, it was it was uh, let's say unusual because we we, we were not uh, authorized to uh, take picture, uh, so it was much more uh, uh, let's say stealing some details, and people were looking at us uh, in the street, uh, say, saying that <laughs> why are you taking pictures this. Uh, this road or this uh, road sign and uh, all these window shops. So I, and it, it was really good because I feel at home uh, in Manhattan. Cool. It was really it's, it's an amazing, uh, New York is an amazing city. And it's a very New York scene. Yeah. Like when it starts with someone peeing, it's very <laughs> <weird>. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <Yeah>. but. <laughs> You need to know that having this uh, reflection in the mirror was a huge technical constraint because you need to double the, the, s the size and the polygon of the, of the scene. So uh, it, it, it seems to be nothing. But, but at the time? Yeah, at the time it was really huge. Being was so intense. Yeah. And uh, you need to know that the first time uh, I met uh, David, he, he was, he, he talked to me about this scene, because it was the, the demo of the, the game, and uh, and he said, oh, okay, let's let's try to bring something different in the mm. video game uh, industry. Okay. Mm. Alors, cause what, what do I? What, oh, so okay. please feel free. I haven't played. So you just murdered someone. someone. Just yeah. Please help me. You're a murderer. Your mother. How do you feel? Your mother. What is your mood? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I feel like uh, reading Dune. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel like. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. What? What, what have I done? Oh, the stress, George. Yeah, the stress, George. I'm depressed. Yeah, yeah. You, need depressed. you need to know that the strange George was not supposed to be uh, yeah, no, uh, integrated in the, in the yeah. first uh, demo. Oh. And it comes really late in, 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 the, in, in the development cycle. On the killer. Okay. Yeah. And this is what we call the split screen. Yeah. Yes. Which was a nightmare for the, the programmers. Okay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because you need to double things and, uh, and, uh, and to have two, two display, what we call two display. So we need to display the, the, the scenes in two separate windows. So to interact is the right stick, I guess. Mm. Wow. I just had this flashback. Uh, we had memory slots then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You Sorry. You went out directly. So how? how what, what, what was it hard to have the split screen at the time? Okay, okay, okay. Maybe you should get out or. Save yeah, your because he's coming. He's coming. He's coming for you. I can't move. No, you can't. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> continue for last save. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you got caught. Yeah. You need to. You wow. Know. That was oh, you're nice. Going to you need to escape. <laughs> you're going to prison? What? <laughs> I was actually. So yeah, what you, you, you need, maybe you what you should do is try to hide the evidence. Yeah. So you, you use the right stick. You do the the motion up on the screen. Where? On the screen. Uh, up, uh, up, uh, up on the screen. Up. How do I go down? Yeah. yeah. How do yeah. I go? How, how do I actually right get, stick, on, I guess. get on the knee? Yeah. Yes. That's it. Yeah, back in those days, it was still in 2D. You know, all in yeah, yeah. So mm. 
Uh, I'm not totally convinced with uh, with uh, <laughs> the UI. <laughs> At the time, uh, I think it looks good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Okay, so, cool. you yeah, so you need to now you need to move to with your your stick. Okay. You need to follow the, the red yeah. dot. Okay. So I guess you should clean now. You you can clean. I'm gonna clean a little bit. Clean yourself. Clean. Okay. Check your. Uh, Take your style. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm yeah. Okay. Mm, I'm okay. Good. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Good. Yeah. It's mm. You, you, need, you, you need to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great, it's great, it's great. I'm doing great. I'm, I feel like yeah, I'm yeah, doing yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 it's important. Personally, I feel like I'm doing great. No, no, you should change your face because it's actually quite hard to just like, actually try to follow and just like try to understand why the split screen was so yeah, difficult yeah. at that time. Why, 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 why? Okay. Maybe you need to, yeah, you to, to grab some knife. Yeah, exactly. Grab Something some like knife. that. Where's yeah. the knife? He's supposed uh, to be yeah, the on the ground floor, no? The cameras. Oh, yeah, it's that's uh, I saw the knife. Yeah. It's right here. Here. Yeah, okay. that's it. So press go left. No, on the right stick. On the left. Yeah. Yes. The knife. So. A knife. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ta Mm-hmm. You never play uh, Fahrenheit? No, I've never played Oh, yeah, Fahrenheit. okay. Mm. So right. you hide some clue. And uh, you, you will see why. Okay. Uh, it's really interesting because uh, you, you're going to play floor, against right? yourself. Guess, right? Blood on the floor. Yeah, maybe you should take like... Oh, should we wash should this? Sweep a bit? Yeah, you should wash it. There is a kind of uh, towel thing or something like that. Yeah. On the no. right. No, stop <laughs> looking at <laughs> yourself. Is it looking good? No, 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 no. No, no, no. On your right. On the right, on the right. Yeah. Be yeah. Behind. No, the right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where is it? On the right. Do you see the, 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 the window? Towel. The window, yeah. Yeah, the let's go. Oh. Yeah, oh. that's right here. Yeah. Doesn't see that. Oh, oh maybe you can you go take the window, out. Yeah. yeah. So let's go out. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, you should. So go. this is this. Let's <laughs> go <on> the right. <laughs> how how are we supposed to? Ah, no. oh, great! Oh. I got yeah. caught a second time. Yeah. I, going to be I, I feel. I feel like. I feel like I'm too good. <laughs> I feel like I'm too good, and someone else should play. No, no, it's maybe, <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe you should. Maybe Greg, 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 Greg. I didn't play this game. He's know. really, he's really good at. at that's even, that's even I better didn't, because I, didn't I love, I love to be humiliated on camera. I love that. <laughs> yeah, trust me. But I, I, I love when much. someone else does. And will be used against you. And that's how my story ends. Okay, so continue to ask. So many, many endings. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that game, game was super hard. Yeah, because the, the, the controllers are not so easy. But I remember but when, when you we were making the, the hostage scene mm -hmm. in uh, Detroit, actually the, the goal was to well, do something as good as this. You were actually doing it very easy because you saw me doing yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. That's I'm what? just, I'm just yeah. walking, I'm just right. certainly, I'm just walking in your steps right now. It. I'm just like... Uh, so next yeah, step is... And then look at the mirror. Look your at myself. Look at like it, everything is good. Okay. And then a second time also. <laughs> and a second time also. <laughs> uh, no, I saw it. Out of order. Out uh, of order. Yeah. It's the right one. one. See? That I didn't do. Yeah. Mm. My hand has a lot of very... Did you take the knife? Uh, oh, Out no. of order. I wanted to take the other one. <laughs> so let's take the knife, you're right. Gotta get rid of it. So now? I think that we need to cl clean the uh, ground floor. Because I was very good. I so think you were. <laughs> <laughs> up, to that, up to that, that's exactly, that's so sort what of should, the side. What should I do? Should I clean or should I go to the window? You need uh, to clean. Clean? Yeah, try to clean it. Yeah, it's clean it. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> 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 and Shouldn't that's why we did stick. Oh, just like, no. actually, you should try to clean with a stick. That's what I wanted to do. I love the method. Yes! Uh, wow, amazing! Oh, what? What? What's that's going nice! On? <laughs> that's a that's very all? nice... I, that's yeah. all? That's all! Ah, you have to go and do yes, it multiple times! Yes, you know, you need to... Wow. Yeah, you're supposed to, uh, to like mimic physics, physics action. Oh, wow! That's that's yeah, but what, what, what exactly are they using? Yeah, exactly good. Because that's really, really impressive. And that's, that's the origin of the uh, cleaning scene in, uh, in Detroit, actually. <laughs> 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 
it's, 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 what normally do I do? No, I you need to, you need to go out. You yeah, go I think so because it's coming. You, you, you it's coming yourself? back. You should. Uh, wh why is he running? Oh. I wanted to play cool. <gasps> the yo, exit door. Yo, you're depressed. No, okay. I'm good, right? No, seriously. Yeah. You can, es the you can escape. Yeah. The oh. exit door. The exit door. Yeah. Run, run. That's it. Okay. He's that, in a rush. That, wow. that makes me feel a little bit sad. <laughs> because I really thought you would get caught. You need like, to you run. Actually gonna get caught. I can't. How do I run? What's going on? You get out of this neighborhood before the police. You need to run. Nah, he's not there, so you can. In the open. No, no, it feel like, oh, that's normal. Oh, yeah. It's a nice, how do I run? It's a nice bathroom. Well, except for the. You can't run because it's cold. <laughs> Outside. Uh, you need to exit so need to the, exit, the street. To, to the need, street. You need to exit to the street. Is it this way? Yeah, that's it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you can cool. see that we improve the camera system. A bit. Because there <laughs> a is a bit, some a bit. opposite cat, you know. I feel like you should run. Yeah, you I don't know. If I were you, I would run. I, I would, think that I would at the run. same time, I'm saying that, I'm, and I was Th actually take able the subway. To my hands take like the subway. <laughs> just like I'm saying. Get, get the subway. It's X to Oh, one. cool. Okay. Press. Where is the subway? You're back. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Ingrid, cool. so you have, have you worked on you? You, you, no, have you, no, you no, haven't no. worked on Fahrenheit. Yeah. Uh, you've started your your career like later. Do you, uh, d d does it feel uh, different? How different does it feel? Yes, yes. Uh, we. I realized that uh, yeah, we okay. we've got a boost now in animation and cameras, as you said. So yeah. so yeah, yeah. But it's uh, it's fun to to look at this because I think yeah. that yeah, uh, well, we did it. I feel I feel like oh. we I successfully like murdered someone. I feel yeah. like after my performance, <laughs> just like two minutes in, it's already way better. I feel like we should actually like leave on this success. It's good. And because yeah. <laughs> because if you actually do more, I'm gonna be even more humiliated <laughs> so please so please great. please let's uh stop so that's Bravo. so that was I that was actually uh so nice to have you <laughs> with me so for so this point extreme uh thank you to uh all of you so please please i want to say thank you to blue once again yes yeah. thank, thank you, you to blue. all of you who's actually watching us thank you to all the people who actually asked questions on the chat and made f and actually all the people who actually uh, most definitely made fun of me <laughs> while I was playing <laughs> this game. No I'm one, really, no really, one. really sorry. No. Don't forget the special 10% discount off. You can use right now until uh, November 1st, uh, 11.59 Central Summer European Time. 10% code Indigo, 10% off all the eShop. Uh, and if it's not already done, you may also want to subscribe to our Twitch channel because, yeah, yeah, we'll be back soon. And in the meantime, please stay safe. Have a good one, cutie gang. Bye. 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 Ciao, ciao.